Hi guys and welcome to this week's lesson. Uh, today we're going to be discussing how to get out of a plug lie in the bunker. Um, I'm on the west course here. We have significantly softer bunkers than what I'm used to over here at the Vatana Golf Resort. Um, it is actually a nice thing because it makes it a little bit easier to get the club under the ball. Um, and they're fairly consistent, so you know at least you know what you're getting in terms of if you do hit a high wedge into the green, you know that that hazard is there and you're probably going to have to learn how to play this ball if it sits down in the sand. So with a plugged lie, what I see a lot of amateur golfers doing, obviously we've done bunker lies before, but I still see this quite often is they tend to set up very wide in their stance and open the club face, which is actually not the right thing because the club tends to get stuck in the sand and then the ball doesn't get out, especially when it's sitting below the, the level of the sand like it is here. What you're trying to feel is you actually want to really turn the club face in and you don't actually have to stand wide, you can stand like a normal pitch shot. So you want to actually try and turn that toe of the club face in towards the ball, almost facing your left toe. So don't be scared to shut the club face because what happens is when you're going straight back up and you're trying to dig out that ball, the toe will dig in and it will actually open the club face for you and send the, the ball flying out. So the more closed you have it here, the more aggressive you can go and the more that ball is probably going to pop up. Um, expect the ball to go pretty high from this shot. You need a lot of speed and you want to make sure that that club's being picked up pretty much straight up with your hands. Don't try to rotate around because then the club is going to get stuck, especially even if the club is turned in towards the ball the heel's going to dig in and the club's going to get stuck. So you want to make sure the club is facing your left toe, so really closed. Weight's going to be on your left side. And then you're going to pick that club straight up and try and drop the club into the sand to make that ball shoot up out the bunker with the, with the sand. So it's probably one of the easier shots, even though it looks quite intimidating. Um, the reason I say it's an easy shot is because you don't actually have to worry about hitting the ball here. You're just trying to hit about half an inch to an inch behind the ball, pick the club up nice and steep with a closed club face and hit it as hard as you can. So I'm going to try and give that a go and show you what this looks like and just show you the ball flight you can expect. So got a pretty tricky shot here. Um, there's a down slope behind the flag, but the most important thing here is I get it out on the first shot. So I'm going to get nice and aggressive, turn that club face in and try to show you what that looks like. I'm going to dig my feet into the sand just so that I've got a little bit more grip and Pick the club up as, hard, as high as I can, straight up with the wrist, and then drop that club with the toe into the sand so that the sand will open the club face for me. Let's give that a try. So a pretty good shot there. Rolled out to about three foot, but you can see it popped up nice and high. Didn't land with so much topspin, but it definitely won't have any backspin, so the ball will definitely bounce once or twice. You've got to play for that. Um, play for it to bounce and roll. Quite a, quite a distance, but it's not going to come out screaming like it would if you had like an open club face and then you have to get too close to the ball. Hit far behind, get nice and steep, keep the club face closed and keep your weight on the left side and this should be a very, very easy shot for you to do. And once you've done it once or twice, you'll actually get confidence and you'll understand how hard to hit it in order to control your distance. I hope this helps you and I hope this lowers your scores. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.